welcome to my youtube channel this is is bridge tutor and what i do here solve technical drug problems and also provide very important information that can make you so for you to have better performance in your technical drawing examinations and right now i want to show you how to solve this problem and before that if you're a technical drawing student i want to ask you you subscribe to this youtube channel put on notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students so this question that i said i want to solve is this question and uh, it has to do with the enlargement of a plane figure but let's read the question for us to know what we want to do a pentagon pqrst rests on its side pq of length 50 and go t pq is 120 degree and go pqr is 150 degree and angus qrs and rst are 90 degree each Construct Roman figure 1, the pentagon, and Roman figure 2, a similar pentagon of ratio 5 to 3 in area to the given pentagon. So this question carries 10 marks, as you can see here, is a wide question. Now, let's look at what we need to do. So, um, the first thing to do is for you to draw a horizontal line. So, draw a horizontal line like this. And then we have that the length of the pentagon where it rests, PQ, is 50 millimeters. So you take a measurement of 50 millimeters on this line. So this is 50 millimeters. So I'm going to make this line, I'm going to make it a thick line. So line PQ, I make it a thick line as you can see here. All right, so this is point P and this is point Q. All right, so the next thing that we are going to do is to construct the angle. So just use your protractor to get the angles out. So we are told that angle TPQ is 120. That means the angle at P is 120 and the angle will be inside the polygon. Bear that in mind. So all you need to do is to set your protractor at point P like this and you take angle 120 this is 120 just put a dot here and then with your ruler draw this line out so draw this line okay so draw this line like this so the next thing is we have that angle pqr is 150 so you also put your protractor at this point set at this point q here and look for angle 150 so looking at this this is angle 150 degree so draw a line draw a line from q through this point like this okay so the next thing that we have is that if you look at this question we are not given the length of other sides except that of pq that is all that we are given so what i'm going to do is to assume a length for other sides i'm going to assume a length for other sides so what i'm going to do is that i will take length qr i will take that to be uh qr i will take that as uh 50 millimeters i will take it as 50 millimeters so 50 millimeters so this is 50 so i'm just taking that as 50 millimeters so this is point q sorry point r here yeah. this is r so QR, so 50 millimeters. So then we are told that angle, angle QRS is 90 degree. So angle QRS is 90 degree. Just put your sesco, your protractor, set it like this at point R and you take 90 degree. So this is 90 degree. So you draw a line. So draw a line through this point from R. Draw a line through this point from R. As you can see, it here. So the next thing is, so I will also take the length of RS. I will take the length of RS to be 50. Length RS, I will take. I will also take it as 50 millimeters. So, so here is 50 millimeters. So we are also told that angle RST is also 50 is also 90 it's also 90 millimeters so you set your protractor 
at this point so this is point s now so this is point s so set your protractor at this point and take angle 90 degrees so this is 90 degree here so all you need to do now is to draw a line from s passing through that point that you have marked on the paper so you draw like this okay so wherever i touch this line so that means that's where you have your point c that's where we have point so i make this line a thick line make this line a thick line so this line also is a thick line so this line is also a thick line that is line rs is a thick line and this line it's also a thick line and this is point c here so we have constructed the given pentagon we have constructed the give, given pentagon so the next thing that we are going to do is that we are asked to construct a similar pentagon of ratio 5 to 3 in area to the given uh pentagon so what we need to do now is that um we are going to take some points on this extended line pq so i just take 30 millimeters one two three four and uh, five okay so this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five so the point here this point this point this point and this point so we have one two three four five then the next thing i'm going to do before i continue is that i'm going to draw a vertical line from point q down a vertical line from point q down so draw a vertical line like this okay so the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to bisect distance p3 so put the purpose of the compass at p here and you draw so draw an arc like this so draw it down so you also put it at three so draw a line here you draw a line here so and then you draw a bisector so draw a bisector through the point of intersection of the axe like this okay so this point here so this point is point x so i'll call it point x so with your compass so put it at point x extend it to three extend it to three and you draw a semicircle like this draw a semicircle like this so the semicircle touches this vertical line that we drew from point q it touches it at this point touches at this point so this point i will call it point three prime here is point three prime so the next thing that we are going to do so the next thing that we are going to do is that we bisect distance p5 so put the point of the compass at p so extend to any convenient radius so you draw an arc here so you draw an arc down here then you put the same radius at five so you draw an arc here and you draw an arc down here like this so you now join so draw a bisector so draw a bisector so draw a bisector through the point of intersection of the axe so it goes like this and this is also on line q so on this vertical line that we draw from line q it doesn't mean so just leave it like that so the next thing to do is that so put the people of compass at q here now so then you extend to five and you draw a semicircle so draw a semicircle like this so it meets p at this point so this semicircle it touches this line it touches this vertical line that comes down from q it touches at this point so we call it five prime so the next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to write date lines so from point q through each of these points so through point t 
So radiate line, draw a radial line. So draw like this. So draw like this, and then so from Q, draw it through T like this, and also so just extend this a bit. Extend this a bit. So I believe you can see what I'm doing. So the next thing that we are going to do is that we take our so next thing that we are going to do is that join P T D prime together. Join P T D prime together or T D prime P. Join them together like this. Join them together like this. Then the next thing to do is to take your set square, set it on this line P T D prime. So set it on this line P T D prime. You can see the way I set it. Then you shift the set square. So shift the set square to five prime, like this. So when you get five prime draw a line so draw a line so wherever this line touch this horizontal line here the extension of p so you call it p1 so call it p1 so the next thing that we are going to do is that so we want to enlarge this figure so set your set square on line pt like this and you shift it shift it to point p1 Shift to point P1 and you draw a line like this. Okay, then you set it again on line ST. So set it like this on line ST. So you support it with your ruler. Support it with your ruler. And actually, so this is T. This is point T1 or T prime. So then, so set your set square on ST like this. Set it on ST and you shift the set square, shift it to T1 and draw a line. So draw a line like this. So I'm going to need to so draw a line like this. So it touches this line at this is point S1. Then set your set square. So set your set square on rs like this set like this and you shift to s1 like this and you draw a line like this so this line is r1 on this point is r1 so we have enlarged the figure so the enlarged figure is q p1 or p1 q r1 s1 and t1 so that gives us the enlarged figure that has that its area is in 5 ratio 3 to the given figure so thank you for watching and thank you for listening and god bless you